show me your news. All right, Scott, it's time for you to show us your news. Oh, man. Has Kojima been planning a media blitz for the past decade with some random head transplant doctor? Who knows that if anyone in the game industry would, it would be Kojima. For those of you that don't know, recently a doctor, Dr. Sergio Canavero, a neurosurgeon in Italy, found his volunteer for the first ever head transplant. And he looks a lot like the doctor shown in The Phantom Pain, the new Metal Gear Solid. He's pretty much identical. Yeah, it's so much. It's crazy. Pretty identical. So after this came out and everything, the internet, being the internet, put together a conspiracy theory basically saying that this head transplant procedure is part of Kojima's next project and that there's so many similarities and like nods to it. Big Boss's artificial arm looks a lot like the most advanced synthetic arm right now. Before, Kojima had said that his next project will be very taboo, and then they go into how transplants and things of that nature are very taboo in Japan, the passing resemblance, and this doctor, this Sergio Canavero, has done a number of documents referencing the phantom pain uh, when you lose a limb, things like that, and it's just these little bits and pieces, and it's proven that this guy's a doctor. He's done a bunch of medical papers for the past few decades everything like that but it's just very interesting how similar the doctor is to the doctor in phantom pain and just everything that's been going on it's very interesting it's an interesting read for sure it's remarkable and i went and did a smyn soapbox on our show me your news youtube channel if you want to go check that out and it kind of presented this you know He's done talks at like a, a TED talk in Limassol, Cyprus. Uh, TED Limassol is like an anagram for solid metals. The, the data mining in Ground Zeroes on the PC version. And people are doing data mining. And based on that, like they're coming to the conclusion that Cyprus is the location of where the hospital is for the Phantom Pain. So like it's all these little things. And Kojima back in the day said that uh, Ian Moore was the name of the actor who lives in Japan that the the model's based off of. But, like, even he looks pretty similar. Though I think the resemblance is more striking between Dr. Canavero here and the, uh, the doctor in the game in Phantom Pain. It's wild. And I think, you know, why you're bringing this up is because it's taken a really strange turn with uh, this write-up on Kotaku. But uh, Gabriel Galliani was the writer behind the article... And basically saying that, like, Dr. Canavero here has no idea of all this, like, threatening to sue, had no idea Metal Gear was so big, and wow, I could make a lot of money off of this. And it's like, wait, like, did the internet just ruin this whole thing? Like, is the Phantom Pain going to be able to come out if this, if this lawsuit's a real thing? Or has the Kojima, you know, marketing teeth really gotten into this, and they're planting... A fake news story in the games media. Like it's it's so weird. It's such a weird story. Considering is, how many it, weird stories there are in Metal Gear overall, I wouldn't be surprised mm-hmm. really if this was all just to make things look a little bit more flashy for the new Metal Gear coming out. Kojima had said that the next project this is his quote, the next project will challenge a certain type of taboo. If I mess up, I'll probably have to leave the industry, which Kojima has been, like, disappeared all of a sudden. Mm. However, I don't want to pass by avoiding that. I turned 47 this year. It's been 24 years since I started making games. Today, I got an ally who would happily support me in that risk, although it's just one person. For a start, it's good. Could he have been talking about Dr. Conavero? I mean, you never know. And this all is coming to light and everything right after Kojima has pretty much disappeared from media altogether. Uh, absolutely, and then it goes on with the you know PT the the demos you know coming down on uh, on PlayStation Store on April 29th. So that combined with like is, is Konami really behind this, or have they taken the head Kojima off the project and they're in on it too? Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> if anyone would do something weird like this, it would be Kojima. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, it's not the first time. I mean, he does the whole bait and switch for Metal Gear Solid 2 and no one saw that coming mm-hmm. so I, they can keep their secrets uh, but wow it feels like there are so many similarities 
there's got to be something here. There's got to be a story. Whether or not it ever gets uncovered or, you know, we wait until after the game is out to see something like this. Like, there has to be a story here. Mm-hmm. And not just like, what? I didn't know. I'm going to sue them. 60 euros at, you know, four or five million? Oh, that will surely cover the cost for my head transplant theory mm. that I'm codenaming Heaven. Yeah. And parts of my book are talking about clones. Like, come on. Part of me really wants it to be like this incredibly intricate conspiracy that Kojima has planned. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, holy crap, how do you plan something like that? (laughs) (laughs) What kind of madness is it? I mean, you look at the guy's, you know, one of his photo shoots where he's got like a head on a platter and he's got some device. His head is like, is this, is this real? Like, come on. Mm -hmm. Are, Are we seriously talking, legitimately talking about transplanting someone's head in 2015? Like, I know 2015, like we're... We're decently into the future of what, you know, sci-fi and all that predicted, but we're nowhere near as far along as, you know, some of those predictions happened. I don't think 2015 would be the year that we start getting successful bits for this. And yeah, they're talking about, oh, it'd need like four months in a coma after it's done. And that's if, you know, it rejects or keeps the body and the head. And like, we barely got hoverboards to work and they're not mass produced and it's like only certain you know characteristics make those work but that was like that was the thing in Back to the Future too like they're gonna be hoverboards in 2015 and like well, you know, we kind of got something I don't know mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> I would say actually thinking about it from a uh, a not video gaming point of view and maybe just a uh, in quotations normal person out quotations point of view. There would have been a lot more coverage about this head transplant thing going on than what there currently has been. Because besides actually you telling me, Peter, about this head transplant doctor thing and then people saying, oh, it, it could tie in with Konami, I have never heard about it before. Mm. Yeah, I There's... mean, it did make international news, but I mean, yeah, it should have been a lot more widespread. Yeah, really, because like with a massive breakthrough like this, it would be a case of... It would be all over the radio. It would be all over the TV and in the papers over here. And I, I'm, I'm one of those weird people that reads the paper on the work to every day because there's a free paper from the train station. And it's never been in there or anything like that. It would be reaching so many more platforms than what it currently is. He'd also be putting his reputation on the line, like, big time. So it, it's, it's mm-hmm. such a weird story. And, Scott, you're right. I, I want to see this resolve itself as, like, this crazy story that just you see all the steps and how it all played out and it'd it'd be an amazing documentary honestly to watch it would be gosh if it turns out that like this i'm going to sue konami bit is serious and like it delays the phantom pain well fuck internet what did we do (laughs) yeah it'll be it'll be interesting to see how it develops absolutely i mean phantom pain comes out on september 1st so we gotta see something until then. I mean, if he comes out of E3, hold the fucking phone. <laughs> that would be great. That would be. I but... want that. <laughs> oh, that'd be something. Touche, Konami. Touche. Show me your news. 